so it's Friday morning. Uh, it's super early. Just woke up, got dressed, came out here. And uh, so there's a, hey, let me open the garage door. Let you guys see how this. Uh, so it's uh, kind of miserable outside. So there's a there's a storm coming. I'm gonna have to check the weather report, but uh, we're gonna try to beat this storm on our way to Oregon, or at least minimize how long we're in it. So uh, yeah, so we gotta hustle and try to get out of here. We're gonna get up to Oregon as early as we can, uh, and then just relax at the hotel and stuff. So all right. I'm going to get this car loaded up and all the tires and tools and all that, so, all right. All right, so we got the car loaded up and we're good to go. We're going to head out and get back on the road now, so. All right, so a little status update. It's snowing, so it's been kind of a hodgepodge of weather situations. It started out sunny, then it was windy, then it was rainy, and then it snowed and then it got uh, rainy again and then uh, the sun came out for a little bit and now we're back in the snow so uh, yeah we're getting a little taste of everything on this trip so oh all right so we finally made it to the best western uh it was a pretty uneventful trip so we're gonna go get checked into the hotel and uh i'll see you guys in the morning all right so it's the morning and uh, we're gonna head over to the track. Uh, we got a good night's rest at the hotel, so um, good thing the, the track is only like five minutes away, so we got a short little trip to make it over there. But uh, we're gonna get this, get this going, so see you at the track. All right, so finally made it out here. Uh, did the driver's meeting in tech, so everything's good. Just need to find some air. What's going on, Matt? Oh, you know. You ready to do some killer tandems? Gotta pass tag first. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll go get that taken care of. We'll do. All right, so we got uh, we got the tire aired up, got that fixed, and so we're gonna get ready to do our first first run of the day. It looks a little slippery, so I'm gonna probably take it real easy. So, right. So we went out for the first couple runs. Uh, it's pretty, I don't know how to describe it. It's not watery, but it feels like icy, like frost or ice. So, uh, but I had to stop because my front fan isn't coming on. So um, we're gonna fix that real quick. And it's just a grounding issue at the relay. So I'm gonna try to tighten up that ground or something. See if I can make it, make it work. So get working on that real quick.
so noticed that the rear end was super loose drove back to the pits looked up under there and you can wiggle the wheel back and forth and so further investigation showed that the rear toe arms both of them were equally loose and so tightened them up real quick and we're gonna go back out on the track so a uh, little more drama than usual but as far as like with the car and stuff but um, still getting it sorted a lot of it's been little stuff and you know uh, some of it could have been avoided um, pre coming to the event by doing a nut and bolt check which I neglected to do and I said I would but yeah all right well I'm gonna get back out on track and, and have some fun So we got into a little bit of an accident it's not bad just a little bit of fender it seemed worse than what it was oh did you hit that 240 yeah <laughs> i'm glad i didn't you know what i mean it's, so you know huh yeah i was like for sure like oh man i just broke a tie rod <laughs> i was like and then uh then he's like turn the wheel turn the wheel so i started turning the wheel and the wheel started moving because we were locked up or whatever and uh i was like cool at least at least he's saying you know what's it kept saying turn the wheel turn the wheel and it's not doing nothing but it's nothing it's just a fender let's go find the 240 that broke his tie rod oh zach broke it Did you break a? Did you break it from drifting or? Was, I didn't see anybody hit you. I think it just came unthreaded. Did you? Yeah. There's like this much. Yeah, I saw that. That was heavy. It's got a little bend. Now I gotta buy another one. Broke as fuck. Oh, it's broke. Yeah. Oh. It. Oh. It oh yeah, it did came on thread. Just unthreaded yeah. and fucking bent. Oh. The fuck out of it. Damn. Man, I was driving so good, having such a good time. Oh, yeah. My window was
couple deads in. All right, so they just uh, opened up qualifying, so I'm gonna uh, change tires real quick, put a fresh set on, and then get to uh, do a couple of laps to break them in, and then get into qualifying. So. since I haven't informed you so I uh, qualified eighth I think or something like that but I did qualify it doesn't matter I qualified so tomorrow we'll do the comp so that'll be pretty exciting so so as you can see it's uh, raining cats and dogs out here right now uh -huh. but it's gonna make for an interesting day with competition being in the rain because i think it's gonna rain all day so uh, should be different i've never competed in the rain so it'll be a new experience let's get back to the track and get the car fired up and they'll put some rain x on the windows so i have no windshield wipers so uh in classic john fashion i made it to the track and i am literally the only one up it looks like so <laughs> um, it's like 8 30 in the morning too i think everybody is just doesn't care because of the rain and they probably got crappy sleep at least i'm the only one outside so um all right so i'm gonna try to get some rain x on this window the best i can uh, covered it up last night i probably should have rain x it yesterday before i left but Mistakes were made, so um, yeah, we'll get that done. And all right, so here's the top 16 right here. You can see that uh, right there, John FC is eighth, going against David Dodge. I believe he's got a pretty well put together um, Miata. I don't know what motors in it. But I seen it ripping around on track yesterday and it seemed to be pretty pretty spicy so we'll see uh, we'll see how it goes uh, it's gonna be a crapshoot with this rain anyway so I think there's gonna be a lot of off tracks probably uh, proximity is probably gonna be um, pretty far off but who knows we'll see how this comp goes and this guy 
This guy's having a bad time, I think. He's got to replace the transmission, I think. He's almost there. Looks like he's got the drive line back in, so that's that's something. Or he replaced the clutch. I don't know. I just saw a transmission on the ground yesterday, so but I wouldn't want to be him. That's for sure. Damn sure. My lazy ass would pack up and go home <laughs> with this weather like this one. Oof. So it looks like I'm gonna get a pass on the first round. A uh, bunch of the Miata guys, I think, with the without the hard tops, uh, dropped out. So. We got a first round by, I guess. So, all right. All right, so comp's about to start. Um, I got a uh, by run, I think, right now. So we're gonna go over to the driver's meeting, I think, and uh, just wait out and see who we're gonna go up against in the top eight, so. All right. so I did my first spy run almost straightened out but it's pretty slick to be out here so um, I, I think I have another buy run I gotta do but all right
All right, so competition didn't go my way. I couldn't see anything. Matt's a super solid driver, so uh, mad props to him. Uh, when we battle, it's always a good competition, so. Really good um, angle in line from Greenwood. Yeah, I just couldn't put, good put a good run together. Deal. We did it one more time. A and, more angle though. Um, so, because we ended up zeroing on our chase runs, I think, or something. Uh, but anyways, it was a it was a good event. I like coming here, and I think I'll be coming next year to so try to compete a little bit more again. and uh, get better at that aspect. I get a little like anxiety or whatever uh, for doing that. So uh, we're gonna load up and get out of here and get out of this storm. So we'll go over and say goodbye to everybody and tell them thanks for all their their hard work and and you know keeping these events fun. So. All right.
So unfortunately, I did not film the results from the one more time battle between me and Jake. So I got a little over excited and filming kind of went out the window. So let me kind of uh, backtrack and kind of fill you in on what happened. So we went over to the trophy podium ceremony, whatever you want to call it, um, where they announced first, second, and third. So uh, they go to announce third and lo and behold, they announced me. So I was super excited for that. Not so much for the third place, but just the fact that I had actually won a battle in a top 16 competition. Because, I mean, even, you know, in this one, I mean, I was gifted two buy runs. You know what I mean? So, uh, I've been lucky enough to advance, but never been able to actually get a, an actual win. So, uh, that was what I was most excited about. You know, being up on the podium, that was cool. You know, I, I'm not downplaying that, you know. But really, for me, it was just being able to get that uh, kind of monkey off my back because that was something that was kind of in the back of my head the whole time was, you know, hey, you've, you've never beat anybody. You've never beat anybody, you know, and that kind of nagged at me. And now I think moving forward, um, that'll be something that... Uh, won't be in the in my mind you know so so anyways with that being said i think that's where we're gonna kind of end this video um so it's getting pretty long so i want to say thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one